All right, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 4. And in this lesson, we're going to continue practicing making tens, uh, but now we're going to add and subtract within 20. And what that means, what that means is, for example, if we had 12 plus 3, and that equals, of course, 15. Well, how do we know 12 plus 3 equals 15? Well, we can take the 12 and break it up decompose it to 10 plus 2 and then we can say well 2 plus 3 is 5 and so 10 plus 5 is 15 all right well similarly if there's a, an addition problem that means there's a related subtraction problem and in this case the related subtraction problem would be 15 minus 3 equals 12 how do we know well you can take the 15 and we can decompose it we can do 10 plus 5, and then we can do here, we can do the 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So now 10 plus 2 is 12. All right. So we have, um, that's basically what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be using these, essentially these number bonds. And when I say number bond, right here, this is a number bond, where you take 12, and you decompose it to 10 and 2. Or you take 15, and you decompose it to 10 and 5. That's a number bond. And you're taking the number bond, decomposing it, and then you can add and make things nicer and easier. So let's put this to practice. So we've got 16 plus 3. Now, ideally, it says mental math, but I'm going to show you what I want the kids to be thinking in their head. In this case, with 16 plus 3, we're going to take the 16 and decompose it to 10 and 6. And then 6 plus 3 is 9, so this becomes 10 plus 9 is 19. So there's our 19. Now, with subtraction. So we've got 13 minus 6. Oh my goodness. So in this case, what I might do is I might take the, uh, let's see, let's take the 6, and I would de decompose it to 3 and 3. So now I have 13 minus 3 and another 3. So I have, I'm going to minus 3 twice, all right? So 13 minus 3, that's 10, minus another 3 is 7. Now that's one way to decompose it. Another way we could have decomposed it, oh, let's do... A little eraser, and I'll do it in blue. 13 minus 6. Another way we could have decomposed it is I could have taken the 13 and changed it to 7 plus 6. And now we can see that 6 minus 6 is 0. So you have 7 plus 0, which is 7. So there's a couple of ways we could have decomposed this one. This is kind of a tricky one. And the answer is 7. Of course, there's a lot of other ways we could subtract. We could just know our subtraction facts. We could use addition and know that 6 plus 7 equals 13. There's a lot of other ways we could have done it. But right now, we're talking about decomposing numbers and using basic facts. And that is lesson four.